Yo, 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 what is up, everyone? Sweezy here today with a brand new Let's Play on Total War Three Kingdoms. So today, I want to be—I want to really try out the Eight Princes DLC. I haven't been playing Total War for quite a while, actually. Um, ever since the Eight Princes DLC came out, I haven't really touched it really. Uh, but I finally got some time, so I really want to get started on playing the Eight Princes campaign because it just looks really, really fun from what I've seen so far. Um, so yeah, so let, let's get into it. So. I definitely want to give myself a good challenge when I'm playing the Eight Princess DLC. So, of course, going right into the very, very hard uh, Sima Liang. So his playstyle is also pretty interesting. So definitely want to try that out in terms of just kind of you know playing around with his playstyle and seeing exactly how he actually works and whether you know and whether if creative assembly really applied his specific place out very well so with, with without further ado let's actually get into it 请听在下一言 司马亮在有生之年 亲眼目睹了魏晋一代 他不禁在想 是否能够再度见证王朝的更迭 okay so his starting situation very hard Makes sense given what I know about his playstyle. He's a champion, awesome. When minus one mustering turns, pretty good, pretty good. Minus ten retinue upkeep, pretty good. But he's also, you know, as a faction himself, he's very limited to how many forces, not really forces, of how much t territory he can actually control. So I'm not exactly sure if minus ten percent retinue is going to be that noticeable, just because he wouldn't have that much, that big of an army anyways. But we'll see what happens though. Um, negative 15 corruption. This is definitely really big um, once we actually get in the late game, given how a lot of cities are centralized. It's going to have very high population. So this this negative 15 corruption is definitely going to come in handy. Um, in terms of his uh, faction specialization, so looking at jurisdiction, um, represents the legitimacy and lawfulness of this leader's rule over the land and as a region of the empire. Um, so definitely kind of plays into a whole um, gaining vassals and essentially you know you can only get you can only get more your own personal territory once you actually advance far enough into your specific uh, faction specialization so it's definitely a very, very unique place out here but everyone else's um, greatly increases income from faction leaders of states so so this guy is 63 years old or something like that so it's gonna be very interesting to see what happens after he dies whether this specific bonus of um you know of of income from the estates will actually still be applied and then also increases replenishment and the chance to capture characters so in terms of his unique units imperial guards looks like you know pretty basic um shield infantry Judiciary building um, in his domain. We we'll come up with two two people, um, Sima Ju and Sima Tui. Um, so I think both of these are his sons. Um, but yeah, so let's take a look at romance or campaign. Definitely want to do romance. Uh, I really enjoy romance mode right now. I think it's one of the best implementations of kind of a hero concept that's not too overpowered but also very engaging at the same time. Um, in terms of difficulty, so we're gonna be playing on. A legendary difficulty so we'll see how it goes <laughs> yeah we'll see how it goes all right so without further ado let's uh, start this campaign堂堂政令之下是否包藏兵祸我等是否应当听令诸侯众王是为黎明苍生还是一起撕裂
，不言而喻，一目了然。众人必须如此，则我亦不得已而为之。主公。皇后乱政，致使主公无法居设朝政，甚至污蔑主公为乱臣。此刻，他的党羽正在准备讨伐主公。贾后胆敢对我如此无礼，屡次藐视于我，看来日后定会更加嚣张。西边有司马伟，此人反复无常，侵略诚信，与我军可谓心头之患。陛下已然发布诏令，圣上虽有圣旨。依我看，这尽是贾后之词。南边有司马茂，也纠集兵力与主公为敌。我军必须与之一战。同宗骨肉皆是贪暴之徒，我等应当追本溯源，从皇后手中救出天子。主公身上流淌的是司马懿大人的血脉，只要司马亮大人一声令下，天下莫敢不从。All right, awesome. That was such an awesome trailer video for sure. Um, definitely, you know, the, all kinds of betrayals going on between the Empress Ja and and Somalia and Sima Wei. So definitely, be pretty interesting to see how that all happens as we as we play through the the campaign. Um, so the first mission: defend yourself. Three spirit alignment treasury five hundred. Okay. Let's see what kind of ancillaries we get. Ooh, we actually got some pretty good ones. Um, Jade Horseman, nice. That's that's a pretty good one. Um, Labor Recruiter, and then Discourse of the States. M another minus five percent corruption. Wow, gonna be pretty 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 awesome for sure. Um, so let's 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 see. Cancel that out. So in terms of so we have quite a few people here. I'm probably gonna give this one to him, and then probably gonna give Sima Liang. I think I'm gonna give him the, this follower definitely to boost up his resolve. And also, I'm gonna give him the Jade Horseman for now, just so he have more instinct, uh, so he can do more damage in battle. Let's see how that goes from there. But this guy. Not bad, not bad. Tempered deflection, pretty good range block chance. Okay. Pretty good. Uh, minus 50 attrition, fatigue resistance, reinforcement range. Okay, not bad. All right. So in terms of. Actually, we'll, we'll do reforms after our first battle. So for the first battle, we just need to kill this guy. Should be pretty straightforward in terms of actually uh, attacking him. So, let's do this. All right? And that loading definitely took, <laughs> took a while, for sure. Very interesting. Okay. So let's get into the battle. Usually, what I like to do is that I like to put my um, my spear guards. Oh shit! My spear guards uh, up in the front. Line it up. Defensive stance. And then put these guys as flankers, as flank defenders. Archers. Right here, fire at will. Smile young up front. This guy, uh, Liu Qi, up front as well. All right, let's get the battle started. I think he should be. be I think he should be coming to me. So, yeah, he is. All right, let's see if he wants to duel. Out of range. Yep, he does want to duel. So let's 
Let's try to get him into a nice duel and take him out early. Yep. Yeah, he should be coming to me right now. Yeah. Nah. I won't do that for now. He's not that good yet. He charged his horse directly into my spear guards. I don't understand why he did that. That makes zero sense. Alright, I'm gonna try to get my guy around and uh, into his archers. Try to disrupt as much as possible. Simaleon's about to win this duel. Should be pretty easy for him. Alright, I'm gonna flank around this corner. Flank around this corner. They're doing some pincer movements. Oh shit. Alright. They're, I guess they're... Uh, the cover is coming back, which is, that's not good. Okay, so they're all routing now, and the Sima Liang is back on his horse. Go kill this guy. Yeah, this is definitely in the bag for sure. Tell him the archer stop firing. That's how the battle's going here. Damn. Getting completely surrounded by my army. Oh, my army. My spear guards on the left. My guys in front on the right. And then my axe people on the left. Damn, just look at this carnage. Yeah, look at these guys fighting hard. Look at them covered, completely covered in blood. Oh shit, damn son. Holy crap, that was nice. Yeah, they're not, they're not surrendering for some reason. Alright, alright, now I'm finding the routing. Alright, 
Yep, that should be that. It's pretty easy. Five minute battle. Let's see how many kills. 116. Archers did pretty good work. Spirit guys are okay. Definitely lost a bit more than I like, but it's okay. It's all right. Income replenishment. 3% on almost a thousand income. Hmm. I'm gonna take the income for this one. Alright, got some spirit alignment. Okay, what what is spirit? I think I'm gonna keep on going with a spirit alignment for now. Go to strength. Row the men, recruit and maintain a total of 14 units at the start of the new turn. So right now I have 12 and I can get popular. Plus 5, 15 prestige, plus 10. The plus 10 diplomatic attitude definitely help as I'm trying to get some more vassals and also some more spirit alignment. That's pretty good. Um, killed in battle, okay. Issue, issue. Nice, nice, nice. So right now, see my domain extent. Uh, I can only have two domains, essentially two, two, uh, two settlements or two settlements um, and you know essentially two of these things um, so I can't really expand any more than that I can take over and do some diplomatic kind of trickery um, but I'll definitely want to get this up before I actually take more to land uh, but let's see, can, let's see what we can do with our diplomatic uh, skills and diplomatic abilities so let's get an advisor in here So both of these don't really talk well. This guy does fine, but it's fashion wide though. It's not really that good. Five plus a five percent income. Like this guy. No. Yeah, none of these guys are that good right now for that specific position. Okay. So still the first turn, I can upgrade, let's get some assignments in, um, so these are all industry and peasantry, so there's no point in doing the commerce, peasantry will be good, but right now it's not that much money, I think I'll probably go with this one, just so I can, I can start building stuff, and uh, building a lot quicker, um, also low in construction costs, especially going to be important in the beginning of the game, for sure. So I'll definitely let that build up before... Let the assignment actually go in, um, get applied before I start building anything. Probably I'll build any, anything that's like one turn, but none of these are one turn. Yeah, so I think for right now, I'll definitely hold off until next turn. So let's just let's look at some research. Uh, plus five military supplies, minus ten redeployment recruitment costs. This will um, plus ten percent from looting. Okay. Plus 20% trade influence, available trade agreements, construction cost, construction time. I think this one would definitely be good. Character salary, satisfaction, character experience, construction cost, replenishment for garrisons. I think you probably go, want to go with this one first, just so I can start getting a lot of buildings really early in the game. Um, and also kind of decrease the amount of money you have to spend to build buildings. I think it will definitely be pretty helpful in the beginning of the game. Um, this is also pretty well as well, but I think I'll go with this one. For now. Okay. Let's see. Let's look at uh, some diplomacy. Quick deals. Trade agreement. Alright, so Tao Huan is... Let me... Orientate myself. I always like to do orientation so I know... I saw every single map is kind of exactly the same. Where, you know, north is north, south is south. Alright, so let's look at this. So Tao Huan is right here. Um, for trade agreement. So Bai Jing is the one down here. Song Wei is the one right here. I probably want to do Tao Huan. 
he's already pretty happy with me, so I can try to get him to be my first vassal. Um, so let's 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 do that with him. Negotiate deal. Form coalition. Nope. Or military audience. Nope. Vassal. Definitely not. Let's see. Anything good? Nope. Nothing good. So I, I guess I'll just get money from you for now. Alright. Let's do that. So I got one I got one trade agreement ready. Uh, ready to go. Seek cooperation. So Beijing is pretty close to actually uh become our vassal. So let's 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 just let's actually see where he's at. 40, 43.6. Okay. Um peace, non aggression pact. Yeah. I'll sign it with Tao Huan. Why you? For now. Not an aggression pack, Wei Gun. Where's where's Wei Gun? Okay. Okay, it's all the way up there. So he's at war with Sima Lun and Sima Wei. Um we can definitely try to do this and just see how much would you give me any money? Nope. Okay. I'll sign it with you anyways. Military access. Say cooperation. Peace. Smamao. Sma Chang. Okay. I'll probably end up going to um Smamao and try to see if we can start defeating some of his uh units. Can't recruit yet. So definitely wanna let's see. Let's see my strategist. How good are you, strategist? Scholarly, forks, expertise for cunning, resourcefulness, honest. I mean, pretty good, actually. It's age 30, so still pretty young. I'll probably hire him. As my, uh... Or all my archers. So, I, def I really like crossbows. Like, crossbows are my, probably one of my favorite um, units in this entire game. So, and it's, and honestly, it's not too much more expensive. Slightly more upkeep, but definitely... In my opinion, definitely worth it, especially for the range that they can provide. Um, I'm not gonna get a trebuchet until I can actually get the flaming shot. Um, so I'll put that I'll put that off for now. But I'll get more, uh, one more of this guy. And I'll probably replace you guys with. Swap units. Hey, I can already get the Imperial Guards. Holy crap, it's awesome. Um, okay. Probably replace you guys with just with the Saber Militias in the beginning, at least. Um, I don't have a Cavalry Commander in this in this army, though. That's the only problem. I probably want to get a Cavalry Commander in here. Probably end up getting Sima Ju. And putting and and kind of replacing this guy. So I th yeah, I think that's probably going to be the best way to go, just so I can have at least one cavalry commander. Because um, right now I have I'll have zero cavalry essentially, so I don't think it's, that's going to work. I'm probably going to replace these guys with uh, the crossbows. I'll probably replace these guys with spear guards. Okay, so I think we're good for now and just let the army kind of slowly build up. I'm gonna go back here Try to get some replenishment No, anything else? Oh, I think 
think that's pretty much it. All right, let's uh, end turn and see what happens. Nice rally, men. Got popular. Five spare alignment. Mission issues. Simali on builds his authority. Have any other faction as your vessel. Okay. That shouldn't be too hard. Character development. Yomi. Shishu. Vengeful. Incompetent. Nope. Sorry, bud. I don't hire incompetent people. All right, let's see. The people that did join us, or not not join us, but available. Sisu is pretty good. I don't know if I have use for him just right now, just because I have a lot of inf I have a lot of infantry commanders. Um, so probably not useful currently, but will be though later on. So. In the meantime. Let's see, what can I do here? How fast am I increasing this? So three change this turn and then next and then current is eight. That's how the diplomacy is working right now. By Gene. Non discretion, non non aggression pact. Let's see cooperation. Oh. Huh. I think I think I'm gonna let these guys try to um I think I'm definitely going to just try to replenish a bit first before I go attack. And I think I'm going to go for Smao Mao. And try to attack his livestock farm. Um, and see what, what we can sell this back to him for him to be my vassal. Let's try that out. But I'm first going to replenish this. Just so I can get some, you know, units. Interesting. Very interesting. Reach the faction rank of Grand Prince. Okay. So right now I'm at Prince. Okay. Let's uh let's try to attack. He can't run away because he has Force March on, and this, and this is Sma Mao. So this should be pretty pretty good chance actually for me to attack him. Very good, very good. Let's definitely uh, start this battle because that has no way of countering me. And I have tons of crossbows, so it should be pretty pretty straightforward. Sunzi云,知己知彼。<laughs> 百战不殆。你且望自尊大，我却早已整个待旦。Continue. All right, so same strategy as before. I'm gonna put my, all my infantry, um, defensive mode up front. So I'm, I'm probably gonna have to end up actually walking forwards because I don't think it's gonna come to me. Um, so I'm gonna just move these guys and just place them on the side here, like that. Um. Shield wall. No, no need for shield wall currently. So I'm most likely going to be moving all these guys up anyways, but you know. Kind of line them up. Line everybody up. Alright, start battle. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna come to me. Oh, he's actually coming to me. Interesting. 
Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Perfect. Make right, sure this guy goes up here. This guy come here. Want to duel me? Nope, doesn't want to duel. Is he moving up? Oh, yeah, he is. Let's speed this up a bit so he actually move fast and come to me faster. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know why he's moving towards me because I mean, probably because he knows he's going to lose anyways, but regardless, my archer is going to probably shoot every single one of these guys down before they even get close to me. Yeah, this, there, there's no way he's going to defend against this. Like, all his, all his units are probably going to get a route before they even get to me. For sure. He's chilling on his horse. Oh, like, fuck. Fuck me. I'm so screwed. There's no way. <laughs> yeah, see so the wavering already. Yep, oh, routing. These guys are probably gonna route any moment now. I mean, this is like a, a futile attempt. Look how small their shields are. Look how many arrows are coming at them. Let's go, boys. Let's go, boys. Chase him down. Chase him down. Chase him down, Chase him down boys. No mercy. No mercy. How are you guys doing? <laughs> this dude, I don't, I don't know what the hell he's doing. Just watching this battle between these two dudes. Alright, let me get my strategist in there too. Here, let's go. Let's go, strategist. Yeah, strategy is coming in with a charge. Smiley on doing some work. Yeah, it's 11k health left. So it's definitely about to die soon. Yep. So kill kill the Sima Mao as well. <laughs> Damn. This is a slaughterhouse right here. Oh my god. Holy shit. Dude, look at this guy holding the flag. He's like he's like fuck me. Damn. Brutal, brutal, savage AF right here. Damn, this guy's taking way too many arrows to the back. All right, that's that. Pretty straight, pretty easy battle. I don't think I lost anybody. Yeah, I don't think I lost anybody. Nope. Get a two percent replenishment. I think that's. I think that should be enough. Yeah, he's dead. All right. Let's see if you're willing to surrender now. P 
piece somehow. Twenty one. Nope. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go take. I think I'm gonna go take this one right here, and then uh, I'm gonna take one right here. Sue for peace. Uh, trade him back his livestock farm, and then try to get him to be my vassal. Yep. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I think that's probably the best approach for now. Uh, while my rest of my guys kind of just you know sally up. Well, not sally up, but you know get replenished. Probably the best for now. Damn, he's not. Oh, he doesn't like Sima Young. That sucks. Man, and a Calvary Commander. I guess we can do it for now. I, I think we can do it without for now, but definitely want that Calvary Commander soon. Hopefully, we can get like a Vanguard or somebody who actually fits in with the team. All right, Rune 9. 2700. I think I'm going to wait to do this one. So, I'll end the turn for now. Um, let's just double check one more time. Any diplomacy? That I need to address. Nope. Okay. Yeah, so I'll end the turn right now and see uh, next turn. See what happens next turn. Sima Chen. Negotiate. Uh, so that the traded people from there. Take that off. Nope. Reject. Faction succession. Character developments. In my gym. Uh, buy one Rui. Trustworthy. Nice, nice. Dutiful. Nice. Superstitious. Yeah, I mean, pretty good. This this, this person's pretty good. What about uh, Sima Jin? Deceitful. Unobservant. Mm, yeah. Yeah, this guy's not that good. The other guy's definitely a, a lot better. Let's see if he actually can uh, fit in with the group as well. Oh, she is. Nice, I can use her as a cavalry commander. Let's see. Pretty expensive, though. 2,450. Let me build this one first. Yeah, let me do this first and now we'll hire her. Go large town. Yeah, slowly decreasing. I definitely want to go take over that 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 land right there for sure. Uh, Non-aggression. Form coalition with. Yeah, I don't want to do a coalition with these guys. I kind of want to do a coalition with like Sima I, one of the uh, and the Sima people. Oh, this one's not bad. One point four only. Can I trade any some ancillaries or what? Ranger's outfit. One point four. It's not bad at all. I have one food. Definitely don't want to do food. Um, make regular payments. Let's see. Trade. Trade one of these, and then maybe I uh, get some get some money from you. Yeah. So let's try to. Yeah, as much money as possible. Five nine. Five nine. Five eight. Okay. So far this is pretty good. Um getting a coalition with Sima I. Yeah, let's let's do that. I think that should be pretty good. So I, I mean there's so, it's hard to vassalize one of these like main Sima clans, so definitely doing that will be pretty good.
Nice, nice. Okay, perfect. So I got in. Got in one with him. That's that's awesome. Got in coalition with him. So that's def that's definitely good. Um, let's see. Anything else right now? Nope. Okay. Let's enter. We'll invite Jin Empire into our coalition. Sure. Why not? Uh, no, I'm trying to take over your land, bro. Why, why are you uh, trying to join my coalition? Run Shin. Ranger's outfit? Nah, man. How's that, how's that even remotely good for me? Come on, bro. Don't insult me like that. Jin Empire declare war on Sima Zhang. A lean year, the Minister of Finance must not making exceptions to missed tax payments, so this too goes for his official and commanderies. A village claims to be unable to pay its whole household tax, citing poor harvests, yet law is law. What is to be done with them? So I think we're still going with the spirit alignment. Five noble support, but minus 15 income of peasantry. My peasantry income right now is so little, to be honest, it doesn't really matter. 15% is like, what, 14? Like 20 gold? I mean... The, like doesn't really matter huh I mean this one the 5% replenish actually I don't need replenishment right now yeah I think this is fine let them off friends relationship lost what's going on why are you angry bro Oh no, you're not angry. Oh no, you are angry. Yeah, why, why are you angry, bro? Deserves high court position? Competitive? Man, why you gotta be competitive? Competitive and ambitious. Holy crap, dude. You need to lay off, man. Ah, it costs too much. Scholarship. So probably not gonna be actually. No, you're actually pretty decent. You're actually pretty decent commander with a good amount of expertise. Let's see. Yeah, forty percent melee evasion. So it's definitely not bad. It's also got a pretty good armor as well. Yeah, I'll probably use you later on eventually. So I'll I'll, I'll give you this for now. All right, so let's start moving towards uh, this place, so we can take it over and send and sell it back to him. Military access, Cao Huan. Yeah, let's let's do that with him, definitely. Seek cooperation. Let's see. So I'm just waiting for this one last slot to be for the trebuchet. I'm wondering if I should just get it now. Nah, I think I'm gonna wait after I take over this life livestock farm because livestock farms um there's not really a siege, just a regular land battle. With land battles, these should be fine because trebuchets without explosive without explosive shot doesn't really do too much damage. Um, so I think I'm just gonna wait until that actually happens. Uh, I think for now. We can end the turn. Yeah, we can end the turn for this one. Request military support against Li Tang. Yeah, I'm gonna reject that. Not really beneficial for me to get in a war with a bunch of people. Fashion development, Chaorang workforce. Nice. Awesome. 
Sen Yong. So he already has fire arrows. Pretty good, pretty good. There's Wisdom of the River. Spiteful. Minus four satisfaction. Enable scare. Not bad. Perception. Um, plus six cunning. Plus six expertise. I mean, not bad. It's kind of, but it's also age 47. Eh. It's alright. It's, all right. it's, it's not that great. Wooden ox. So I can give this to him for now. Yeah, I'll give it to him for now. Just so he can have something. Alright. Pick the next one. So I, I think I definitely want to get this. Five satisfaction plus two K population growth. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get that one. Should not, I think I'm gonna get this one. Definitely the recruitment cost would definitely be really useful. Yeah, I'll, I'll get that one. Alright, let's uh get in here. Yep. It doesn't really have a strong army. We should be good. Let's see. Oh, nothing here. Let's see cooperation. How close are you? Forty-two. We invade some way into our coalition. Yeah, he's back. He's definitely backing off. Who is this dude? Sumamo, join war alongside Sumawe. War declared between Sumamo and Sumachan, I think. Sumawe declare war on Cao Huan. Sparring partners, we should do so. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Xiang Shi, bright, humble, scholarly. This, this guy's pretty good, actually. He's 26 also. Very, very good. He also has that that dual uh, ability that all the <clears throat> that all of the the Sentinels have. So that's definitely pretty good. I don't really need him for now, though. I mean, we already have big enough army. We really just need a, a vanguard right now for sure. Simon's recalled. Are we at war Sima Chung? Oh, we are. God damn it. We might we might lose this one. Should we go back? What's the garrison here? I have a lot of archers. Let's see. Huh. Actually, I think we might be actually going to be able to hold this because I have a lot of cavalry. I have these to hold them off. They ask cavalry captain. Yeah, I have four cav units. I, d I can. Yeah, I can definitely hold them off, actually. It's going to be tough fighting this guy, but the rest I should be able to fend off. Like, if they're trying to. Sh I can definitely get my cavalry to head in the back, so. Let's just, let's just go here for now and see what happens. Um, yeah, let's take over this for now. And then if he attacks me, I think he's going to siege it. And then I'll try to come back as quickly as possible. Map view should be just completely flat land. Yep. Yeah, in that case, I'm definitely going to do it myself. Just so, can, so, just so I can take as least amount of casualties as possible. Okay, same formation. I always have to, I really like to go in this specific formation. That.
Let me move over a bit, actually. Go right here. Right here. I, I don't think he's gonna. I don't think he's gonna come to me. So I think I'm gonna actually gonna have to go to him. Um, I, that should be fine though. Two. Yeah, I think he's gonna. I don't think he's gonna come for me. Oh, he is. He's actually coming for me. Wow. Okay. 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 I'm gonna get these guys out a bit. I'm trying to chase down those archers as quickly as possible. Definitely want to get into the back line and start hitting the archers the moment they come close. And I probably end up getting my uh, crossbows to start aiming for the archers right away, um, so that the archers, so that their archers wouldn't do too much damage to my units. All right, let's flank around. Yeah, see, they have all these like G, G infantry that has zero shields, so they're just completely getting wrecked by my archers. Alright. Definitely get my uh, crossbows to start aiming for that, for the archers. Yeah, see, they're already, they're already retreating. And get these guys just to finish them off so that they don't really come back. Damn, that's the quickest victory ever. Holy shit. They didn't even touch me. Alright, let's just finish these guys off. Get some more experience. Some of that precious experience. That was terrible. Alright, let's zoom in and see the carnage. Alright, I think <laughs> I think he missed everyone just now. Literally, I think he missed everybody. Damn, son. Come on. You got this. You gotta kill him faster. There's still like tons of people left. Only if I. <laughs> it would be so much easier if I had someone like Liu Bu. Liu Bu. So then just completely kick everyone's ass. But I guess Sima Liang will do. Old boy. Oh, shit. Damn. That was crazy. Half the dudes got up, but still, that's pretty crazy. Yeah, and this old man is taking a while to kill these guys. <laughs> I swear. Damn, nice, nice, nice.
Yeah, that was beautiful. Oh, poor guy. Well, what the hell? Where does this guy come from? Damn. And that is life, my friends. And that is life. Laying there on the battlefield. Alright, I'll just end this. Oh, yeah, see, I've already passed my domain extent of two, so right now I'm only three domains. But I'm going to try this thing. And let's see if it works. I really hope it does. Alright, so 29. Request cooperation. Yeah, so hold on. Receive marriage. Ooh, I can get her. Offer guarantee of autonomy. Trade territory. So I can give that back. That literally, that I that. That livestock farm I just took. I can send him back to her. Um, maybe I'll take off the received marriage. So I got 16. Let's see what kind of ancillaries you have. Minus 12. Minus 10. Man, that's a pretty nice chain mail. What else do you have? Not really much besides this unyielding skill mail. I mean, minus 10%, minus 10, minus 10, minus 10 melee attack rate, but then plus 9 instinct and plus 12. I don't know, this is, it's really, I'm not, I'm not sure about this, to be honest. This. Uh, let's see what else. Are you going to give me any money? How much money can you give me? 231 per turn. Two thirty one. What about two thirty five? Nope. Two thirty four, two thirty three. So what if I, mean, I can still get this, so I can just trade it off. Let, let's just see how much so eleven. It was eleven point two. I have sixteen regularly. So it was worth about a hundred gold per turn for that specific armor. Should I take? Should I take a hundred and gold? Should I take a hundred gold more per turn, or should I take getting that armor instead, so I can use it later on as leverage to trade? I think just answer my own question right there. I think it's definitely used as leverage to trade later on. I think that that can be a really valuable way of getting uh getting stuff. Okay, so uh, definitely pretty good. Guarantee of autonomy, giving back the territory, so I don't have to worry about my domain being too too overextended, and then also getting peace. All right, let's do this. Got my first vassal. Awesome, awesome. why you? Nope, no lines for you. Nice, got 2,000 gold as well. Uh, jurisdiction expands. Sweet. Spirit. Got to the next level of the spirit alignment. So now I have plus 5 prestige and plus 4 diplomatic relations. That, 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 that additional diplomatic relation is going to be really important later on as I make more deals. For sure. Smalians, Vassalites, to my chin. Yep, yes I did. And he got this pretty sick looking uh, scale mill. Alright, let's see. 
I should have anyone join my faction. Yeah, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna try to get this uh, this girl by one Rui. Um, it's my faction. It's my cover commander for this unit. And go back to rule nine here. I think it's almost yep. It's trying to upgrade. Okay, should be good for now. I don't think I'm missing anything else. Let's see. Oh, not records. Actually, is doing so. Good amount from diplomacy, from commanderies. Uh, 200 industry, 137 peasantry. A lot of unit upkeep for sure. Buildings. Do I need all my guys here? Yeah, they're all family. Except for this guy. Is he any good? I mean, he has that. I mean, maybe I should just take it off of him and just let him go. I mean, he's so old. 57 years old. I think I might just let him go. Oh, no, wait. Hold on. Oh, no. He's the guy right here. So, yeah. One, once, I, once I change him out with the cavalry commander, I think I'm going to let him go. All right. Go next turn. Ruin Shin. Uh, no, no, thank you. Uh, I, I don't know why you ever think we want to do that, but sure. Yep, he's sieging it. Ah, these fuckers. Alright, so I'll wait to join a war between that and Mishi. Character developments, Miao Ji. Bright, brave. That's not bad. Don't need him though. Mishi. Not that great either. Besieged, besieged. Rona being besieged. Okay. I think we should be fine. Even if we're tired. Because I'm if I'm going to force march it, I'm going to get way closer. Because I don't think at this point I can, I can even get there on the, on the, on the next round. I definitely want to get there as early as possible and hopefully scare him off. So let's do that. And hopefully this forces him and kind of scares him off. Let's see. See cooperation, peace, non-aggression pact. Shan Yu. Point five. You gonna give me any money for that? Yeah. A non-aggression pact with you. Piece. Okay. That's all good for now. I still have a lot. I think I'm gonna change him out right after the end of this turn. And probably get the um cat catapult as well. I think we should be good for now though. Definitely need actually I'm just gonna employ her right now. Yeah, we just have a player. Family tree. Huh. Interesting. Okay. And turn. I don't think he's gonna attack me. Oh yeah, see he backed off. Cause he knew he's like, there's no way. My army is coming for him. Perfect. Back in developments. Stage block ended. Buildings build a small city. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh Probably gonna end up going for Runan. Fix that. So this one, 
um has the iron mine I'm trying to think which one should i go for here land registry office government support I mean, it doesn't really matter i can really go for anything here um so this will definitely help as a one turn as well yeah let's let's go ahead and do that one try to get some food production at least at least around like three or four before i start doing something else um Oh yeah, I talked about replacing this guy. Swap retinue with this lady. Replace that. What what, what kind of what kind of swap units? I don't understand. Oh, cause cause that. Lame. I think I'm going to give her this. That should be nice for her. Yeah, I'm trying to think I should give her the discourse of the estate of the states or not. Um, just because right now I have the I have my faction heir holding this. So essentially you have that minus five corruption. Yeah, I think I'll let I'll let him hold on to it for now. And that should get addressed next turn. Let's see what we can do diplomacy wise. So right now we're in the next um, f section of it. So the first section, uh, no effects. So now I can actually have four domains. So I can start capturing stuff. I'm trying to think what can I what do I actually want to capture around here I might actually just start going for by Jin's territories since he has a farmland and a city now oh, the J mine is pretty good and both of these are semi ways um, people yeah farmland and city yeah, that one only has a farm. So I should get his entire commander. So I think I think I'm gonna go for uh, Baijin's territories and get both of these and actually get entire commander under me. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Also, sign this guy. Trade influence minus plus six morale plus five plus some ten melee attack rate plus fifteen diplomatic penalty. This girl, she's good with everyone. Probably hold off on that for now. All right, so I think that pretty much can, I can conclude my turn from there. So I think that's gonna be it for today. Um, next time I come back, I definitely want to check out to see what this guy's going because I think he's gonna be going for Runan, um, the small city. So I definitely want to go ahead and defend that. But I think for today we're gonna stop it here, and we'll pick it up next time on this specific let's play of the Sima Leon campaign legendary difficulty in total war three kingdoms have a good night everyone peace out